Let's, let's cross live now to David Smith. He's Washington Bureau Chief at The Guardian. So, David, firstly, will this make any difference to the growing calls for Joe Biden to step aside? Um, hard to say. I think the general view is that Joe Biden did enough to uh, stay in the race and uh, for there not to be an avalanche of voices calling for his departure. Uh, but it was not uh, dazzling. It was not uh, so impressive that he will silence those critics. And indeed, uh, even as his press conference came to an end, uh, another member of Congress, uh, Jim Himes, um, he called for, for Biden uh, to quit the race. Um, so there was, there was a real ambivalence there. And I think uh, you know, the critics will uh, look at uh, the very first question that Joe Biden was asked about this loss of support and the way Biden made a gaffe. Um, he referred to uh, Vice President Trump when he meant uh, Vice President Harris. And that was just uh, an hour or two after he had introduced uh, Zelensky of Ukraine as uh, President Putin. Um, so those verbal slips are still happening. He also said he was going to consult with the commander in chief when he, in fact, is the commander in chief. And, and yet, as this press conference wore on, um, the, the frog in his throat disappeared. Um, uh, his voice became clearer. And you could tell that he was really in his comfort zone discussing national security issues and foreign policy. Uh, he really showed his depth of experience on foreign policy. And he talked about uh, not wanting U Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia and uh, how Israel has only been has occasionally been not very cooperative. And I think that that was food for thought for, for some Democrats. Uh, do they really want to uh, remove a man with all those decades of uh, foreign policy experience? Uh, so I think in sporting terms, it was a bit of a, a scored draw and uh, Biden will continue. And there are some Republicans and Donald Trump supporters who are delighted by that because they, they fancy their chances of beating him. And where does campaign go from here, David? All eyes have been on Biden, but there will be movement in the Republican camp early next week. That's right. I mean, Biden acknowledged during this press conference that uh, while he's staying in the race and he does think he's the best qualified candidate, uh, he does need to allay fears uh, among Democratic voters. And he said, uh, you know, while Donald Trump has been uh, playing golf, um, Biden has done about 20 events already, many in swing states, uh, interviews all around the country. That continues on Friday with a campaign rally in uh, De Detroit in the crucial swing state of Michigan. Uh, then on uh, Monday, uh, Biden has got another uh, big moment, uh, a TV interview with uh, Lester Holt, one of the leading broadcasters. So that again will be scrutinized. Before then, he has a speech at the uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson Presidential Library in Texas. And some people are pointing out uh, Lyndon Johnson uh, uh, announced he was not running for re-election uh, back in the 1960s. So some tempting parallels there. But meanwhile, Monday is also the start of the Republican National Convention in uh, Milwaukee. Uh, we're expecting to hear Donald Trump's pick for a running mate. There'll be a big Trump speech there on Thursday. And I think the Joe Biden camp probably praying that finally the media attention will switch back to Trump and uh, the Republicans. And of course, uh, hoping that Donald Trump maybe uh, himself makes some kind of gap or um, some incident where uh, all the scrutiny is back on him. David, for now, thank you so much. That is David Smith joining us there from Washington. He is Washington Bureau Chief at The Guardian newspaper.